O'Neill, thank you very, very much. Hi traders, welcome to my trading recap and there's something extremely important that I want to share with you today and we're going to talk about, about it soon. It has to do with using the level 2 specifically with my Neo trade now. First, let's take a look at Snap. I'm about to buy 4,000 shares because Snap is up, buying now, it's up almost 6%. It's trending higher. You can see that it failed to move lower right here. And I just bought 4,000 shares with a 60 cent stop loss. So I'm planning around $2,400 stop loss or $2,400 target, which should be just above $57.90. That's my target. Just before the whole numbers, because whole numbers are usually uh, some kind of a resistance. Now, take a look at NEO. NEO is uptrending. NEO is clearly uptrending and the S&P is, tr is trending higher as well. NEO started with a gap down and I'm about to buy now 8,000 shares. Now, in the case of NEO, the stop loss is 30 cents not 60 cents so it's exactly the same buying now 8,000 shares meaning I'm risking around $2,400 and I'm also looking for a profit of approximately $2,400 in fact I don't think in dollars I think in cents 30 cent target 30 cent stop loss and uh, let's go back to snap now snap was really close to my target you see here it almost touched my target just above 57.90 now it's a fast forward and it did not so I had to wait through a pullback now snap is uptrending I shouldn't be concerned because the S&P is uptrending as well so it's a fast forward but as you can see snap keeps moving higher so at that point at that point snap just touched my target just moved over 57.90 reached my target right here but when, when, when you're very close to your first target, you always wait for it to do a little bit more. Now, if originally it would have touched that, I would have taken my partial. But now, since it's broke over 58, as you can see here, also moved over the whole number, I'm waiting a bit more. But if it comes a cent under 58, watch it. It's about to do so right here, taking my partial. I did not take any chance with this trade. I was waiting for it to move more than my target, approximately 10 cents over my target because I was waiting for it to move to a new high. Now let's take another look at NEO but before we do that and we talk about something extremely important, how about giving us a thumb up if you're enjoying this video so far, helps our channel, helps more people like you uh, enjoy day trading videos. So Take a good look at the level two now. See what happens to NEO. It's moving to a new high. Now look at the buyers, look at the sellers. The buyers are on the left side, the sellers on the right side. Sellers right now at 39.32 or so. We're moving higher. My target is a cent or so over 39.40. But look what happens once we're reaching 39.40. You can see the number of sellers, 1,000 shares, 2,000 shares, 3,000 shares. Look at what happens once we reach 39.40 right now. Now I'm going to pause this video so you can see. There's a huge seller at 39.40, 23,500 shares. When you see something like that, take your partial. I don't care if your target is two cents above like mine. Just take your partial. Just don't watch a huge seller and wait for him to disappear. Maybe he's renewing quantity. Now look at the way they renew the quantity. You see, the number is now 30,000 shares and I'm about to take my partial right over here. And again, look at what happens. 34,700 shares. We started with less than that renewed quantity at all times taking my partial right now now I had to take my partial because I don't know if I'm going to move to a new high now the thing is it was just two cents or three cents away from my target I had to take my partial when I saw that now again take a look at the numbers still growing 30 something thousand shares 35,000 I just saw that so take a look at the way the stock behaves take a look at the way the sellers behave now if the seller is there and it shows you a certain number of shares keep watching if, if it's showing you a certain number of shares and then keep renewing the number of shares you may be in trouble now let's see another interesting indication now again watch the number of sellers 39 37 number of sellers 39 39 now take a look at what happens the best ask is 39.39, a cent over 39.40. Not yet on the best ask, 
price but 20,500 shares so he's not showing the full quantity now we're moving up to 39.40 now you see the full quantity now you can see that this guy is actually selling 38,000 shares not 20,500 shares so he's hiding the quantity it's a bad sign that means he's renewing his quantity is at all times he was hiding now he's hiding again look at the number he's not showing the full size at 40 but once the price reaches 39.40 when the ask price reaches 39.40 only then the computer of this guy I'm saying guy it could be institutional traders could be whoever I don't care I don't know they usually work with automated tools so when the price is reaching the the the, the highest price that's only then that they're going to show the full size now as you can see the price pulled back down a little bit I'm happy I took my partial at that point because I don't really know if the price is going to continue higher so yes I did not get my target I had a few cents before that so that's okay because I'm still you know whenever you're trading you need to be flexible you need to take a look at what really happens and the level two is a great tool it's the the, the most amazing tool you have some platforms just don't have it you can't trade with a platform that doesn't have a level two you need to see the buyers you need to see the sellers you need to see if the renewing quantity look at the numbers now are coming down you see there are 40 39 40 but now they're just 20,000 shares so now you can see that well this guy is actually selling is not renewing at that point so I'm fast forwarding it right now so you can see what happens it still is holding here at the 40s but if you take a look, good look you see that we are slowly moving higher and finally kind of taking off so uh, and again it's a fast forward right now but you can see that uh, we just moved to 39.48 and so on so well I hope it was helpful I hope it was uh, uh, interesting for you to see because you know the, again the level two is extremely important tool you need to watch it at all times it's not that it, you always see something as clear as that but once you do see then you have a, an advantage you can take your partials before or if you see a big seller just don't move in just wait until the big seller is gone watch if the, the, this person or persons are renewing their quantities uh, stay notice if what happens if the price is going higher or lower and, and then make your decision according to the level two if it saves you money it helps you take your partial at the right time and so on and so on so well if you want to watch more of my trading uh, content make sure that you subscribe there's a button right here and turn the notification bell on so you will be notified of my future uploads and if you do like to trade with me read my books or um, just get free access to my trading resources there's a uh, many links right here below and you can just click on them and uh, join us so thank you again for watching and please give a thumb up and i'll see you in my next video